Eric, great to see you. I haven't seen you in so long. I feel like this is kind of a reunion. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, listen, I love reunion, especially in the MSP industry. It's always good to reconnect. Uh, thank you for the briefings over the years. I appreciate it. Now, as we were prepping for this one, I, I think I, um, based on some back and forth with you, I wanted to organize my thoughts into like three areas. The first is this importance of moving unstructured data to the cloud. That, that's sort of part one. Part two is, okay, what, as you're doing that, what do MSPs and their end customers need to be thinking about when it comes to security? Obviously, this has got to be locked down. And then part three is, where does Ignite play in all this in terms of helping the MSP? So, so let's start with part one, the importance of moving unstructured data to the cloud. In those conversations, what exactly are you explaining to the MSPs in terms of this journey and why they should be taking it with their customers? So... We've been talking a lot, you know, of course, over the last two to three years of work from home, work from anywhere because of the COVID situation. But it really started before that. I mean, work from anywhere was really growing. We just pushed it along with COVID, right? Yeah. So there's so much when it comes to unstructured files, the, the Word documents, the Excel documents, the PDFs, you know, all of those different things that aren't stored in an application, right? Right that the end users have to use all the time. And now we've moved a significant number of people outside of the building away from that on-premise server, and they still need access to these files. Well, we've done that. MSPs really, you know, stepped up to the plate, got a lot of VPN licenses purchased, got a lot of bandwidth increased so that we could do this remotely from an on-premise server. The problem is that's not the ideal solution. Because you deal with so much with, especially in the small business world, right? Because they don't have, you know, a very large pipe coming into their business or multiple pipes for redundancy. Uh, they're depending on those VPNs. Uh, VPNs create a lot of tickets for MSPs. So an on-premise server is just not the ideal solution anymore for a place to store those files. They need to be stored in a place that's easy to get to and easier to manage, quite frankly, than an on-premise server. An on-premise server has patching, it has monitoring with your RMM, all of those things that we don't really have to deal with anymore just to have a storage place for these files. Got it, okay. And you know, I, on the one hand, this journey makes life easier for the MSPs, but I think it also makes it easier for the, for the uh, end customers. Look at me, I'm, I'm a work from home guy, right? And I basically have a rule now, please don't send me attachments. I can't keep track of attachments. I don't like tracking revisions, et cetera. So this, this whole unstructured data stored in the cloud has made my life incredibly easier. But on the other hand, I suppose I'm also a nightmare because if I go off and do this on my own, I could be introducing security risks. So, so, so tell me a little bit about the risks of moving this data into the cloud and then how to mitigate those risks. What should MSPs be thinking about both for themselves, but also on behalf of their end customers. Right, so there's, there's a lot to talk about when we talk about security and, and unstructured files. So first I'll speak directly to what you were talking about in attachments. And I completely 100% agree. And that's one of the issues with an on-premise file server, right? right you can't right. just send links. Now, of course, there's lots of other cloud file sharing solutions that do, uh, but the great thing about sending links instead of attachments, which is one of, of course, the benefits of using Ignite, is you have better control over those links. Mm -hmm. You control how long they live. Uh, if you accidentally send a link to somebody, as soon as you realize it, you can go back and disable that link so it can't be used. A lot of files can be opened in read only. So you right. can send a link to somebody where they don't have to open it in Word, but they can still view it and they can't make changes to it. Also, when you send a link, they're linking to the most recent version of the file. Right. So if I send you uh, a Word document on Friday, but then I change it on Sunday and you don't open it until Monday, you actually see the changes that I made on Sunday rather than the attachment that, you know, if I had sent it as an attachment, you'd have an old version of the file. Yeah. So it helps from that aspect, you know, control, being able to see the latest versions, and it just, it increases security and convenience at the same time. Got it. Okay. But, and then what about the actual, I, I understand all the points you've made. Um, and also, by the way, we, so we got acquired a few months ago 
And yeah, I'm living in that read-only world. I mean, they're smart enough not to give me access to everything. It's, <laughs> it's you know, Joe can read this, but not edit, et cetera. Right. Uh, they can turn off my connections to certain things. And it, it's a good practice. I totally agree. Um, are there additional steps that the MSPs can be taking to further lock down and harden this cloud system? Or is it sort of turnkey at this point? It's pretty easy just to set it and forget it and be secure. Well, one of the great things about Ignite is that it mimics very closely the on-premise server file structure, as well as NTFS style permissions. Okay. So when you migrate an on-premise Windows file server to the Ignite cloud, it not only migrates the file structure in the exact same format as it was in the, in the file server, but it also migrates the permissions. So it makes it very easy for the MSP to migrate the data and it makes it very easy for the end user because you don't have to train them on a new structure or a new way that permissions are being done that sometimes force a different structure. Uh, all those things make it easier for both the MSP and the end user. Got it. Okay. So if I'm an MSP listening to this, viewing this, reading the blog, tell me a little bit about the business model here. It, is the MSP, is this a one-time resell to the end customer and then Ignite manages everything? Or is it monthly recurring revenue and the MSP is still involved in the management of the file system? How does the business engagement work? Or are there multiple models that an MSP could choose? So it's a monthly recurring model. Okay. Um, at Ignite itself, uh, we do sell direct to large enterprise style customers, but we leave the SMB market strictly to our, our MSP partners. And because of that, they get the benefits of the monthly recurring revenue. They manage the Ignite instance. They have administrative access to manage across their domains. So just like they would manage that on-premise file server, mm. they still are the internal IT department for their clients. And so they're the ones who are going to manage uh, the file structure, the permissions, and you know be the point of contact when somebody calls and says, I accidentally deleted a file, how do I get it back? The MSP is going to click a button. They're going to restore the file and everybody's going to be happy. And be the ha and be the hero. Yeah. And there you go. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've already lost a few files myself, uh, not in an Ignite system on my own. Um, so tell me a little bit more about MSPs getting up to speed on this. Let's assume I'm an MSP that's never been in the file uh, sharing world and I'm, and I'm interested in maybe developing a, a line of business in this area. Is it a quick learning curve or does it take months and months to onboard customers? How do you get started here and how long is the, the on-ramp? So it depends on the solution you choose, right? Mm -hmm. I think with Ignite, it's very simple. We already talked about the migration piece, right? Okay. And as a partner program, we actually give our partners uh, a five user license of Ignite to use in-house so oh, they nice. can get up to speed, they can use it, they can understand how it works and they can get some practice with it. Uh, we have a partner only training program that they can go through. It's all online, it's all recorded content, uh, but it does have quizzes and things like that. So they can send individuals, you know, individual employees through it and, and be able to get up to speed on the sales piece, the deployment piece, as well as the administrative piece of how do you deal with Ignite. Got it, okay. Now I can see how uh, this cloud-based file sharing system would be popular with all types of SMBs. Like every company needs to be managing files, no doubt. But I'm also wondering, do you see a particular momentum for your MSPs in certain verticals, healthcare, financial services, legal, for instance, or is that really not a play? It's really more of a horizontal rather than a vertical play. Where do you see it? So. Ignite itself in its basic form uh, is very horizontal because okay. it applies to any small business that has Word, Excel, PowerPoint documents, and that's everybody. Everyone, yeah. However, Ignite serves uh, some verticals very well because on top of that cloud file sharing piece, we have added security and data classification that you can add that make it very appropriate for medical industries, for finance, uh, for industries like uh, media and, and architecture, engineering, construction, those types of things. So a lot of different use cases, but specifically on the security side, we go all the way up into some very complex regulations like FDA Part 11, which is 
a regulation around all of the things to do with developing drugs and life sciences and medical devices. So from your basic HIPAA requirements, all the way up to some very sophisticated finance and biotech type of needs for compliance and regulation around data governance, Ignite can grow and, and meet those needs. Very nice. Very nice. So, so it, if I'm an MSP in a particular vertical, not only can I, I talk the talk, I can walk the walk with Ignite in terms of you, you got me backed up in terms of this vertical market expertise and proper design and hardening in that vertical. It's great. So um, for an MSP that maybe hasn't kicked the tires yet and wants to kick the tires, what are some of the first steps? Where do they go online or what's the process to maybe uh, give it a test drive? Yeah, it's really easy. They just go to www.ignite.com and it's E-G-N-Y-T-E dot com forward slash MSP. And that's where they can learn about the partner program. They can register. Registration is absolutely free, but it'll give them access to that not for resale version that I talked about, as well as the free training material. Got it. Okay. So for listeners and viewers who heard that and or saw that, but want the URL again, just check out the associated blog with this. There'll be a link right there. You can go out and check out what Ignite's up to. Eric, thank you so much. I appreciate the catch up and also a little bit of background on Ignite. I appreciate it. Yeah, always a great time, Joe.